man came to the I team saying he was running into red tape trying to get his cash back. He claims more than $600 was stolen from him. Police caught the thieves, but that man says that he never actually got the money. So he called news to investigator Rebecca Collette. It was around 9 o'clock the night David Allsberg says he strolled into what was then Bender's Bar and Grill in West Ashley. I'm sitting there, there at the bar drinking my beer or whatever it was. The next thing he knew, he was on the ground. They got guns held up in front of the face like this. According to these police reports, four men busted into the bar, ordered everyone to the floor, threatening to shoot them. The men stole money from the patrons and from the bar cash register. Belly down on the floor and I'm looking up and... And this guy is standing over me with a gun pointed right in my face. He just put the money in his pocket, threw the wallet back on the floor. Then they sped away. The men were busted in a parking lot a short drive away. That was in 2008. I'm sitting at home waiting for somebody to show up with my money. Like a police car is going to pull up in front of my house and they're going to hand me a check or cash or whatever. That didn't happen. Every time I think about it the last eight years, I get madder than it was the last time. When I looked into his claim, I found the cash taken that night from patrons, some $875, was tied up as evidence and appeals by those guys all the way to the Supreme Court. The case was finally finished in 2014. But here's the catch. The police didn't have any records of Allsbrooks. He says he left the bar as soon as the robbers did, scared, and he didn't talk to police that night. I, I thought I was going to die right then and now. So we kept digging and learned even though Allsbrooks wasn't in the initial police report, he was part of the prosecution's case. So when I took his problem to the solicitor, Scarlett Wilson, she assigned a new attorney to help us sort out the problem. Her recommendation? Return the money. She wrote to me in an email, quote, our office obviously at some point considered him a victim and we have relayed that info to CPD so they will hopefully give him his rightful portion of the money recovered. As Allsbrooks approaches his 80th birthday, he hopes it won't take too long. When I die, where does the money go? I can't find that out. I hope you find it out. Since I took the problem to police, they also opened an investigation into which victims were owed money. Tonight, they tell me they're still investigating the case. If you've been a victim of a crime and your stuff was recovered, we've put information on our website about steps you need to take so that you can claim it. Rebecca Collette, News 2. Remember, if you have something you want the I-Team to investigate, email us at iteam at wcbd.com. You can also call the I-Team hotline at 843-216-4949.